morning, everyone. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. And we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. And we have Tabitha here, who's here to say hello. <laughs> Tabitha's tail, say hello. I've made myself a cup of um, Wisotsky tea. It is green tea with citrus fruits. It was very good. I had a... Uh... The same brand but with uh mint and it was divine so. present from brother number five six yeah okay all right so it's child number six we don't have six brothers no <laughs> it's i always do that and people get very confused right. yes i am sister Sibling number one number six sister number two sister number three however we with the brothers we do five and six <laughs> So I went totally Damien. Damien, who's number one, really doesn't get <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Anyway, okay. So, um, a couple of questions and comments from the other day. The big one was, what is the name of the show <laughs> we're in love with that nobody could understand? I sort of garbled it. Um, it's because we were so excited <laughs> when we were talking about it. It's uh, Bridgerton on Netflix. Uh, it's from Shonda Rhimes. And um, it, it hits all the Shonda rhymes. Oh, all. I, but it's just, it's set in the 1800s. It's beautiful. It's soapy. It's so good. It really is. We watched episode two and three last night. There are only eight. Now, we would have, look. If we, we could have stayed We would have gone through them all. But um, when we were forcing ourselves to shut the TV off to go to bed so we could have a productive day of work today. Um, yeah. I'm like, okay, we should probably savor them anyway. Right. That was our, our justification. <laughs> However, um, it I just... get nothing done when I'm watching. I was no. trying to cross stitch the, when we first started it. And, and I'm like, last night, I'm like, okay, I have to knit because I have to do something where I don't have to watch right. what I'm doing. So I was getting some knitting done, but it was just, oh, so good. Such pretty dresses. Yeah. Such pretty jewels. They showed the lower class the other day, yesterday, and I'm sure that's where I would wind up, but I would really <laughs> like to be the upper class because, oh my goodness. And such drama. It's yes. so fun. Yes. Oh, so much fun. So it's Bridger Bridgerton on Netflix. Yeah. And the other show that we binged watched was The Mandalorian on Disney Plus. And if uh, you're a Star Wars person, you'll, you'll know that. And if not, it's not for you. So It was really, really good. I mm -hmm. loved it so much. I'm so in love with the child. And I loved how they ended it. Yeah. So it was good. I really, really, yeah. really liked it. Um, also, if you missed it, Sister Number 3 is just finishing this up. But um, On Point on Disney Plus was wonderful. If you have anybody who's interested in ballet, yeah. we got a text last night from her saying, so if COVID's over and... It's free to go out. We're all going to the Nutcracker next year. And we're planning it. It's going to be... We're going to have a fancy night out and go, right. go to the Lincoln Center and go to the ballet. And, and do dinner and yeah. that kind of thing and just have a really nice night out. So COVID. Get dressed, get dressed up. COVID, be get over. Be out of here yeah. by December, okay? That's Way all I have Way before to say. December because you have to give them time to get the show. To, the but I want to go and do that. Yeah. Um, we used to go... My grandmother would give us tickets, but it was always my birthday. Right. Um... And we would go. And we would go. And we, I remember we've one time. We've gone a couple of times. She finally acquiesced. I wanted so badly to go in my ballet slippers. And, you know, my mother, it was December. She had visions of my feet being cold or something stupid. <laughs> and one year she finally let me do it. And I felt like, oh, so special. Okay. Yeah. So. We got, we, we dressed up in pretty dresses and yeah. that kind of thing. So, yes. All right. Um... That was pretty much it. People are leaving um, ideas for books. Um, people have said some really, really nice things about us podcasting, which is very, very sweet. Thank you yes. very much. Um, and David tells you that Christmas never ends, so you can just send out your yeah. Christmas cards whenever you feel like it. <laughs> I like David. Yeah. So far, Penny was July, but uh, David, David, let's make it. Okay. Um, I am wearing the anemone shawl that Helen did. It's by the Noble Thread. It's a great um sampler you do different stitches in each section you've heard us talk about this probably yeah. we usually have kits in the shop they'll come back in january but right now once the sale is over yeah so 
I'm wearing the Starfall sweater by Jennifer Steingast. I knit it in Knit Pick Swish. It was before we were dyeing yarn. Um, I adore the sweater. I love this yoke. And I like the um, color work. It's very pretty. The Swish is not a great everyday wearing kind of yarn because it pills like crazy. So I would do it again in... To the hollow yarn. To the hollow yarn. There you yes. go. So. Okay. So today is about cross stitch. Yes. How many are you showing? I have one. Okay. All right. I have two, but one is an upcoming one. So here is, I've been working on the gnomes. My gnomes. I was going to have this done by the end of December. That is not going to happen. My plan was to have the bottom two rows done by the end of November. I finished that up the day before Christmas Eve. Then my next thing was going to be that I was going to have these two rows done by the end of December. I have barely gotten his body done. So that is just not going to happen. This is getting put away until I start feeling no me again because I have things that I'm going to be working on, things that I want to work on. Um, so I figure the gnomes have outlived their Useful well, they're just going into timeout a little bit yeah. for a while. Um, I have everything together for them. All the threads, the flosses are in the bag, and I will put the pattern in the bag, and then um, when I feel like it, I will pull them out again. But right now, this is what I have finished on my gnomes. Come up a little bit. There you go. You can see how far I got. I enjoyed working on it. I really did. Um, it's just, it hasn't been exciting me right now. So I figure, move on. So that is what I'm going to do. I need to cut. Only what brings you joy. I know. I need to cut July off. I have done July's wordplay up on top. I need to cut that off. This is part of 2021. Finishing things. Yep. Um, before I tuck it away for good. So that is where that that is the status of that one. It is Jardin Privé au Pays de Nomes. Uh, we will have links to everything, either in a blog post or down below. So I am. I pulled out my Madame Chantilly, the Bear in the Tree, which I had started last Christmas. Um, I'm liking the idea of. Pulling something out and finishing it. Okay. Because 2020 was a year of epic projects and starting everything, and now I just want to start getting things done. Okay. I want to have, like, the satisfaction of completion. So that is what he looks like. I adore Madame Chantilly's animals. I, his, her bear is just... Because you have him in the pickup truck. Right. Um... That is how far I've gotten. I finished the bear. He was the big thing. Oh my god. Isn't he fantastic? He is. I just love him so much. He really is phenomenal. So now I'm working on the tree. And then after the tree, there are little birds over here. Um, but really doing all that white, that, that was the big, the big thing. So um, I will continue along with him for a little bit. I'm kind of hoping, I was kind of hoping that I could finish him... Um, as close to the new year as possible, because I know once we get into January and that kind of thing, the, the Christmas will just be done, be done. Um, despite what David says. So, um, but I'm so close that I think I might try and finish him. He's really fantastic. Yeah. And then I, you know, I'll do him up into a pillow or something. Right. But oh, I love him so much. He's, so. oh, he's do you want to explain what that is? Oh, I had started something over here. It was an, was it Advent? Maybe. I don't know. It was something we had started and abandoned. I know you're shocked. <laughs> um, and I will see, I had cut some out of it. Uh, um, I may, I don't think I'm going to have enough fabric between this, so I'll have to go through and just pick it out. But, um. 
that's what those are going down the side they're like three of them uh, I bet you know, yeah it's got a number um, so I will just pick them out around him so that I'll have enough to fully finish him and he's awesome yeah. he really is awesome so I was thinking about my Hade this morning and I'm just not in the mood for the epic project um, and I have so many that are like in this stage where it's like I just have a little bit more to right. go and then I could have if I actually got my button gear and fully finished something I could have a whole bunch of finished stuff Okay. I'm in the mood to use up our stuff. Yeah. Because I found a new uh, oh. designer, so, yeah. Yeah, you know. Got to finish up stuff before we start bringing more stuff in. Okay. But I was thinking about our cross stitch because we've been doing it for... Almost two years for me. Two years. Because I started at uh, the end of the year. And um, how our... Cha how our um, our tastes have changed from, you know, doing, you know, we started out one way and then we went into more of a primitive and then we kind of got out of the primitive and it's just... Right. It's, well, it does. You're, you're, as you are honing things, our, you know, what do you want, A, what do you want to stitch and then what do you want in your house? Right. And what do you want to put around? You know, yes, it might be fun to stitch that, but will I actually use the finished thing? Right. Kind of thing. Right. Okay. Um, well, one thing I'm going to be stitching next year is uh, Barbara Cullen sent us a pattern that her daughter created. And her daughter is, um, she's got a floss tube channel, channel called Christie's Corner, Christie with a K. And um, she's Again, a... I'll link all of this. She's a historian, so she has a whole bunch of historical stuff that she does on her channel that gets tied into the cross stitch and that kind of thing. So if you're into that kind of thing, it might be kind of interesting. She's big into embroidery. Yeah. So what she did was she has designed a temperature library. Barbara thought of this. I don't know why she would think of us with this. When, you know, books and that kind of thing. But this is the embroidery one. So it's taking the idea of a temperature blanket, which um, I didn't realize was a thing in cross stitch, and doing a temperature cross stitch for the year. This is um, the cross stitch one. Because I've seen one with a tree, and it's got le all the leaves are the different temperatures. Um, and But I love the idea of the bookshelf. So what this is, is you have a shelf for each month of the year, and then you stitch a book for the temperature, and you pick your colors for the temperatures. Now she has picked colors, um, but she's got everything under 40 degrees as one color in the Northeast. Everything that's winter. Under, yeah, that's basically, you know, November through May. Um, so that I'm going to have to break that down further and do more on the lower end than on the upper end. Although she has 97 to 100 as one color and then 100, everything above 100 as another color. We have gone 97, 98 here too, so that I think yeah, we're going to want mean, that. Anything other, oh yeah, I don't think you want to take out anything on right. the higher end. Yeah, I so see I'm going to add in colors. She has, she broke it down into 20 different colors and then you can just add as you go along. So I think what I may do is pick her, her gaps are very small. Yes. Like 67 to 70 degrees. It's... Right. So you're giving yourself, you know, you can really take a look and see yeah. how it, it's within three degrees what it was. What I was thinking of doing was taking like 40 to 50 is going to be one color, say yellow. Yeah. And then I'll break it down into different shades of yellow for like 40 to 44. Oh, okay. 44 to 47, that kind of thing. And have okay. three different shades of yellow within 40 to 50 right. type of thing. Um so that also I'll get all the colors of the rainbows, the rainbow yeah. in there. That's kind of the way I was thinking of it. Um, I have to do some more, you know, really fine tuning it. But uh, Barbara gifted us the pattern. So what we did was we went in and bought a copy because it's for sale on Christie's shop. And what we're going to do is we are going to give away one of these to you guys for anybody who wants to either embroider or cross stitch, let us know because we have both. We can gift you either the embroidery or the cross stitch. And then um, 
if you want to do this along with us, you can go in and purchase the pattern. It's $9 for the pattern, uh, and you can pick either the cross stitch or the embroidery yeah. set. So what I have done is I have picked my fabric. Ah, there it is. I am going to be doing it on gray. This is Picture Me Plus 18 Count Ada in Mirage. Is that big enough? It's yes. Right? Yes, it is. Okay. It's 13 by 18, and she said for 18 count, it's going to be 6.5 by 12. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have so plenty, plenty of room. Yeah. Plenty of room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Now, she has got it so that, um, <coughs> excuse me, you start by doing the bookcase, and I'm going to do that in dark brown like she did, and then um, you can do the shelves going across so you can, you know, get everything lined up, and then you do your books. And I was thinking, you know, what if it's the same temperature from one day to another? You just do different size books. Yeah. So here you can see, let me get this back down, all right, how even if you have a couple days that are the same temperature, you just do different sizes. And then I thought, okay, so what about doing the high temperature and the low temperature of the day? Because she's doing it for just the high temperature, but sometimes there's almost a 25, 30 degree difference so that each book will be two colored. And you could do it that if you have two lines of stitches, you could have one line is one color and the other line is another color. You could do the top half of the book in one color and the bottom half in another color. You could do checkerboard where you have X, you know, each a different color and just zigzag it. You can do all different things and have really interesting looking books if you do the high and low because you're do working with two colors instead of one. Right. And again, just change the size of the book, the height of the books, so that... Um, you know when you the day is a different day. A combination of all of the above, what you just said, you know, like one day you're doing the checkerboard and one day you're doing side by side, right. then that'll really delineate. That's what I was thinking, books. you know, because yeah. you, you're going to have the two colors, but you do a different pattern each day so that if you do want to have them all the same size, right. you know, you could do it that it's just a different pattern for each day. So that's what I'm going to do. I also love the fact that she said that she planned this she designed this based on her bookshelves, which are kind of higgledy-piggledy, and she's got um, mementos in there, too, like a clock and some flowers and a, va uh, a glue a ship. and a, a Viking ship and yeah. that kind of thing. This is my kind of bookcase. So um, I, I love the idea of doing this. I really do. So I've got mine. I'm going to do it in cross-stitch. Um, and if you're interested... Just write in the comment, it's all about the stitch. It's all about the stitch. Okay. <laughs> stitch, baby. All about the stitch. Anyway, just write, it's all about the stitch, and we will pick one prize, one winner to get a free pattern. Right. And then, if you would like to just go ahead and purchase the pattern, as I said, Helen's going to link to her Etsy shop, and you can just go in and purchase it. Right. But, love this idea. So, and honestly, a bookshelf. What better could there be? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So that's my plan. Okay. So are you going to do it? I don't know. We were talking about this yeah. this morning. And we don't need two bookshelves, so I will not do the bookshelf. It's just a matter of whether I pick another one, but I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards not. Because I see we myself saying... um, fading off it, thinking it's a great idea now because you're doing it. Um, but then towards February... I have so much that I want to do. Right. Not that I don't want to do this. Right now I want to do this. But there's so much out there that I want to do. that, And so little time to do it in. That having something that I have to do every single day is going to cut into that. So. I have to get it so that it's set up like doing the bookcase. And then I think it's just about maybe 19, uh, 18, 20 stitches right. per day for a book. You know, so that you can, you should be able to keep it. If you do it every day, it should not take very long. No, it shouldn't. You're right. So, however, I sat down to do cross stitching yesterday. I wanted to get a whole bunch done on the gnomes before I started on this, and 
I got maybe 20 stitches done and I was out for the afternoon. So I kept falling asleep. I'd wake up, fall right back asleep again. So that um, today I got up, was ready to go. I was going to have get some stitching done in the morning and get everything ready to go and have some work done on this so I could show you that I was started. I didn't get a single stitch in. So sometimes getting the 18 to 20 stitches is all you're going to get. Yeah. But hopefully, hopefully it'll work. I'm going to try. Okay. All right. So we got to get going. Uh, packing. Lots of packing to do. Yes. Yes. The packing continues. Packing so continues. The sale also continues uh, through Thursday. Thank you, um, everybody who bought the bags. Yes. Yeah. Lots of bags. Lots of bags. Um, and um, yeah, through Thursday, 20% off the entire site. Okay. So we hope you guys have a wonderful day. Go forth and create. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. With knitting. Yes. It's all about the knit. knit oh, baby. my God. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.